Also part of our team in Baltimore is national correspondent for the tablet and crux, Christopher White. Christopher, let's not waste any time. I want to start with the big headline out of this meeting. The Vatican is asking U.S. bishops to delay a vote on new rules for bishops in the midst of the clerical sex abuse crisis. What's the biggest impact of that decision? Well, Liz, it's hard to get 300 bishops in a room silent, but when Cardinal DiNardo made that announcement yesterday, that's exactly <laughs> what, we, what we witnessed. Uh, the biggest impact is that they're going to walk away from this meeting tomorrow without the promised tangibles that they had hoped to go back home to their diocese with uh, to say these are our immediate steps and we've taken action. Uh, in a sense, they've effectively hit the pause button until February. And they have been talking about it, though, at least uh, Chicago Cardinal Supic saying that the new rules need to be discussed, even if a vote is postponed. What do most of the other bishops think of that idea? Yeah, absolutely, Liz. I think people are realizing that they can't just sit around and, and twiddle their thumbs here, uh, that they actually have to talk about it and, and, and have some sort of forward motion. So what we've seen today uh, and what we'll see tomorrow on Wednesday is continued discussion so that Cardinal DiNardo, when he goes to Rome in February, has a strong sense of where the bishops stand collectively as a whole. So what this does now, as you've just mentioned, is all eyes now on the next major meeting, which is the Pope's Global Summit on Abuse at the Vatican in February. What are the expectations there? Well, tremendous expectations. The, the pressure will be enormous, not just to have zero tolerance enacted across the board, uh, but for bishops' accountability to become universalized, not just an American thing, uh, but one in which the whole church can get behind. Uh, and I think uh, this, you know, it was already a high stakes event, and this is probably going to be one of the most important moments of the Francis Papacy. Christopher, before I let you go, with all of this as a backdrop, <laughs> a new appointment to consider, Pope Francis has tapped our Archbishop Charles Shakuna as secretary adjunct to the Vatican's department in charge of abuse investigations. Is there a message behind that particular move? Yeah, I mean, uh, Archbishop Shakuna is very much seen as sort of the point person on this issue. He's a, a tough prosecutor and has been doing so uh, for two decades now. I think this sends a strong sign that uh, at the Congregation for the Doctrine of the Faith, which sort of has authority and jurisdiction over these cases, he wants his best man on his team, uh, and that's what he's going to get in Archbishop Shakuna. Christopher, in the time we have left, with the major action issues off the agenda, what will this meeting accomplish? <laughs> Well, I, I think there will be sort of a collective sense of where the bishops stand on this issue. Uh, there will be other important things. Tomorrow the bishops will vote on their much delayed uh, pastoral letter on racism, uh, which is certainly needed. Uh, and I think many of the bishops are going to be proud to walk away finally having gotten that uh, out in the open. All right, Christopher, thank you so much for that input and perspective. Look forward to talking with you again. Mm -hmm. Absolutely.